Okie dokie, testing, testing, great. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be making this video, but I'm also a little bit apprehensive and nervous because this topic is always taken out of context. Answer the questions that I've been getting so frequently from you guys. And I also like to make videos that I would want to watch in your positions. And the hardest part about talking about your body during pregnancy is the scrutiny that you get from other people. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you guys will know that my number one goal in life is to be a mum and get pregnant and have like a healthy pregnancy. So just know that I'm so, so grateful, so blessed and so happy to be pregnant. I can honestly say I'm really loving it. I'm trying to embrace every single change, whether it's my body, my appetite, my lifestyle, but I do wanna keep it real. The other day I ended up vlogging my boxing session and I thought that would be a really good comparison to see how I'm training differently. So just before I got pregnant, it was like the peak of my boxing. I was really powerful, I was really strong. We filmed that session. I'm gonna like watch over my session from before I got pregnant and then the other day Kurt came to the gym with me and filmed my session with the same trainer so it's pretty much the same boxing session but one I'm not pregnant and one I'm 26 weeks pregnant <laughs> Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never, never rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse for the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd. Take a berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man. I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. Yeah. I want you to have the top twice. Okay, one, two, slip, slip. You know what's next? Hit, hit, right hand. One, two. One, two, slip, slip. You know what's next? Hit, hit, right hand. One, two. Double. One, two, uppercut, two, pull back. Ah, left, left, right. 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 And again, left, left, right. Left, left, right. Four, two, and left, left, right. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, come on. One, one, two, and again. Left, left, right. Two, we go. Two hooks. Over. Left, left, right. That's the one. Nice. One, one, two, one, one, two. Oh. Come on, girl, come on. That was epic. That was way better. That's as hard as I can go without breaking my knuckle. <laughs> there we go. Solid. So one more round like that, nail it. Slip, now it's next. The only thing I'm struggling with right now is like when I do the slips, as you guys can probably see, me slipping, like me dodging his punch is just nowhere near as effective as it was before I was pregnant. That's the only thing. It's like really my abs. I'm trying not to do any ab work and boxing, you wouldn't realize is a lot of ab work. It's a lot of twisting. So I just can't really like dodge. So I remember this day not really being able to get super low, but punching wise, I felt totally fine. The only things I can really comment on is like my snapback is not as quick. I'm not as powerful and I definitely don't have the endurance that I did before I was pregnant. Pregnant. The only things I don't really do in the gym right now is running. Running does not feel good to me at all and I just want to protect my pelvic floor. So I don't run and I don't really jump. I just kind of like train to 75% of my maximum. I never push myself to my limit. So I have a few different photos here that I'm going to show you. One was at my peak when I was the leanest, when I was super strong and like the gym was my life. I'm not going to say I was the happiest in my life at that point, but I suppose my body was at its best point. This photo here is when I was really happy with my life. I had a really good gym routine going and I was pretty much just doing my ebook workouts. I had a really good sense of balance with like the gym and health and fitness and I felt really good. And now being 26 weeks pregnant. Okay, so obviously being like shredded and having abs is not the be all and end all, but it is a really big component of my job and my life. So I'm not gonna lie, of course, when I found out I was pregnant, I was ecstatic. I was so, so happy, but I was also thinking, oh my gosh, my job kind of revolves around being fit and having abs. I was like, how am I gonna do this like how's my body gonna respond
respond, I had no idea. All in all, I can honestly say I'm so proud of myself on a mental aspect and a physical aspect. So far, I have noticed my thighs and my arms have definitely gained fat, which is totally normal. Your body naturally wants to gain a little bit more fat to help protect the baby and help grow the baby. So I knew that I was going to gain fat whether my diet was the same or not, which it hasn't been. Yeah, my arms and my legs have definitely gotten bigger and obviously my belly, but I thought I was just gonna blow up like a balloon. Knowing my hormones and I have PCOS and I don't know, I kind of expected the worst. The way I look is not my priority right now, but obviously every morning you look in the mirror, you're getting changed. You do notice the differences and you don't wanna feel self-conscious in your body. In terms of cellulite, I haven't really noticed a huge amount more. I always have cellulite on the back of my legs. Even when I was super, super shredded, it's just like a genetic thing for me. And to be honest, majority of the time, I feel really normal in my body. People come up to me and they say, oh my gosh, you're pregnant, how are you going? I'm like, I'm actually really enjoying it. And it's the days that I'm working out that my body feels the best, my mind feels the best, and I feel like my normal self. It's just about being kind to myself and knowing that my thighs are bigger now and my arms are bigger now because I'm growing a baby, which is the most exciting thing ever. And also in terms of weight, it's so hard. Like I wanna be as open and transparent as possible with you guys, but there's just like so much backlash that comes with like talking about your body and being open and <sighs> So far in my pregnancy at 26 weeks, I've gained eight kilos. Everyone is so different. It has to do with your genetics, how tall you are, literally everything. So weight is kind of irrelevant, but I get so many questions about it. So that's just the answer to that. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because I get so many questions about it. Please know that I'm not complaining. I love my body. I love my baby. I'm really content with my life right now and just trying to embrace the experience. Okay, so I just jumped out of a really long shower. You know when it's like you have a lot of stuff to do, like wash your hair, exfoliate your body, shave your legs? I was very productive. And then I was just oiling up my belly and he's kicking so much. Like you can see the kicks from the outside of my stomach. Look how big he is today. I was just saying to Kurt yesterday, like I can't believe I'm pregnant. This has been my dream forever. <sighs> I'm just so happy. I feel like my skin is getting a little bit better, but it's definitely not what it was like pre-pregnancy. Kurt and I are gonna go to this Christmas dinner with my sisters and a bunch of our friends. I guess you would call it like a potluck. It's where everyone brings a meal and then we all share. So it ends up being this huge table of food. So I'll definitely feel like what it looks like when we get there. And there's like ham. I can't really have ham right now. Meats and pastas and things like that. So I was thinking I'll just bring a salad that I can definitely eat. I'm thinking of just doing a really simple sweet potato salad with like fun things in there but I'm just so basic I literally just use some foundation bronzer blush and then mascara and I only put mascara on my top lashes and then I just spray like this hydrating mist over my makeup because I like the dewy look you know oh yeah she round Okay, lol jokes. I actually don't have time to get changed. I'm going to prep everything now because we're supposed to leave in like half an hour and these sweet potatoes might take 35 minutes in the oven. Two medium sweet potatoes. I hate this. Whenever I get a new roll, I like rip it wrong. It's because I'm impatient and I don't do it properly. Why? This is so dumb. No. I'm over it. But I really am the most impatient person you've ever met. The less time you have, the smaller chunks you wanna chop it into, because if they're too big, it's gonna take forever in the oven. And we don't got no time for that today, okay, people? Okay? Centimeter cubes. Coconut oil over the top. It's gonna kind of be like a Greek salad, but not really. Let's do oregano. Yeah, I love oregano. Okay, step one, done. Yeah, I think we're just gonna do that. Look around and see the sun high. Yum! I love sun-dried tomatoes. I'm not actually supposed to eat them because they give me a rash. Hot foods like mango, chili, and tomatoes break my skin out, especially more now that I'm pregnant. Yeah, I just kind of regret it afterwards, but they're just so yummy. Vegan feta. Some lemon. <gasps> no. Look, it's not like super pretty but it's a fun time. Like I would want to be served this at a dinner party. Whatever, people. Look, I'd be happy with that. Okay, so I just got the sweet potato out of the oven and I've taken it out of the tray to lay on a breadboard just to help it cool down a little bit. I just added a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and I also picked out a bunch of like the fun things from the salad. So when I get there, I'll put it on the top and add a little bit more baby spinach as well. Just mum and dad. Looking fab, as if we're gonna be parents. I <laughs> know. My mom thinks I'm cool. Popping the belly out. I'm not popping it out, that's just how it is.
Long days, long and nice. You feel? Now, I don't even know, lady. Take it, go. In the dirt, say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Uh, uh, never, never rehearse, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd, same to preserve. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells.